Hi traders. What we are going to go over are two time frames that are less commonly used, but are two of my favorite when I want to get down in the low and fast time frames. They are the 233 tick charts and the range charts. Let's go over their upsides and downsides and how you can apply this to your trading today. What is a 233 tick chart and why such a random number? Well, first off, 233 tick chart means 233 trades have been executed for each bar that forms. And when I say trades, I mean actual trades. Each trade could consist of multiple contracts or large volume buys. If a market you are on is a high volume one such as crude oil or gold, a 233 tick chart would be blazingly fast. You can always just double this number and trade a 466 tick chart as well. This is sometimes necessary during the early morning hours when you won't even get a chance to breathe with a 233 tick chart. Here's a live preview of what a 233 tick chart looks like as the market progresses. You have little time to react on the 233 tick, but as it is very accurate representation of what is happening in the markets. And the second question is why 233 tick? This is one of the Fibonacci series of numbers. Now we don't need to get into this in any more detail because in the end, it could very well be a self-fulfilling prophecy. I am here to tell you that the people trade it and that it is a valid number solely due to that. Keep in mind that the bottom axis for your chart is no longer a direct representation of time. If the market is being bought and sold, every bar only now represents the fact that 233 trades have happened, not that a specific time has passed. If you are looking for a new low time frame chart to trade, go to your charting platform and put in 233 tick. Range charts are a completely different beast. They represent clearly when the market is moving versus consolidation by reducing the number of bars that form. In, a more, in more detail, this is a one range chart for the S&P 500. Every bar here represents one point move in the market. If the market bounced within a one point range for five seconds, it would create a bar. If it bounced within that same one point range for five minutes, this would also be represented by a single bar. This is what is fascinating about range based bars. They take into consideration the volatility of the markets and represent this by the number of bars being formed. When the price is moving, there will be more bars being formed. You can change this to any different range for each bar. The simplest way to think of it is as one point equals one range. This is a one range chart of the ES, so every bar represents one point of movement in the markets, which would equal four ticks for the ES S&P 500. If we were on crude oil, one point would equal one dollar, so you could do a .04 range chart to have each bar represent .04 of a dollar movement in crude, or four cent movement in crude. Like I said, the big benefit of this type of chart is that it will prevent you from being stuck in a back and forth movement in the market over a long period of time. If you want to find out more about these time frames, send us an email at info at totaltradinghub.com or comment below. I love to hear from you. This is Bruce Banks saying, enjoy trading.